In this first video in the ANSYS Granta Selector series, I will be giving an introduction to the Granta Selector. The Granta Selector is an encyclopedia of material property data and is composed of from many different databases. These databases include data sheets for all types of materials, such as metals, polymers, and composites. The different packages of databases available can be seen in the chart on screen. ANSYS Granta compiles all of this data into its material universe. The material universe contains complete data sheets for over 4,000 materials. The material universe is included in every license of the Granta selector. In this video series, only the data in the material universe will be used. However, the techniques for sorting, searching, and filtering the data can also be applied to different databases. The material universe provides complete and comparable data for all of the main classes of commercially available engineering materials. Each data sheet represents the performance of the generic material type. Now that we've gone over the basics of the databases contained within the Granta selector in the material universe, we'll take a look at one of these data sheets for an example of what kind of data is included within the material universe. Here I have the material universe data sheet for a specific grade of aluminum 6061. And as we scroll through the sheet, you can see all the different sorts of categories of material information available for this uh, aluminum. So starting here, we have general information, which says uh, like what kind of heat treat is on this uh, aluminum, and as well as different uses for this specific grade of aluminum. Then we have composition information, which walks through all the chemical composition of the aluminum. Then we have price, physical properties such as density, and mechanical properties. These include Young's modulus, yield strength, and tensile strength, and all of these are functions of temperature as well. Um, they also have things like elongation, tangent modulus, for, uh, and they, there's also true plastic stress strain curves for this specific material at different temperatures. Um, we have compressive modulus, all sorts of different things, hardness, Poisson's ratio, fatigue information. Uh, and then moving on, we have impact and fracture properties, um, thermal properties so, such as melting point, thermal conductivity as a function of temperature, uh, specific heat capacity as a function of temperature, thermal expansion. Um, then moving on, we have electrical properties, magnetic properties, um, optical, aesthetic, and acoustic properties, healthcare properties. Um, this can be useful for healthcare applications that have some examples that this material has been used, uh, some applications this material has been used for before. Um, they also have guidance for MRI safety. It's useful for choosing metals for uh, medical applications. Uh, they also have uh, materials risks, such as like the abundance risk or uh, any sort of availability issues you may run into with um, this material. Uh, now we have processing properties, such as casting, forming, all that kind of stuff. Uh, durability, when exposed to acids or water. Uh, or ultraviolet radiation, among other things. Uh, then we have corrosion, um, the required production energy for this material, such as how much water it takes to produce uh, a pound of this aluminum and how much carbon dioxide is produced. Um, we have recycling information, um, as well as geoeconomic data, so just like how available it is uh, in the world, essentially. And this is pretty much the end of the data sheet. Um, you'll notice that there are, diff there are uh, properties related to specific types of materials as well. Uh, we'll look at a polymer sheet and you'll see there are some different material properties that are only exclusive to polymers. And I will pull up that data sheet now. Here I have a data sheet for a general grade of uh, polypropylene. And as we scroll through here, you'll see some of the uh, material properties are different since this is a polymer versus the aluminum we are looking at is a metal. Um, so things like this impact strength is a little different for, for polymers. 
you have heat deflection temperature, glass temperature, it's a little different. Um, and then further down, one of the other main differences we have are the um, chemical resistance to uh, of polymers to different sorts of acids or other solutions. That just about concludes this introduction to the Grantos Selector Tool and all the different material properties contained within it. You, uh, the next video in this series will explore browsing and searching for materials as well as how to filter uh, based on the material properties of interest. Thank you for watching.